fucked out from Anthony Nash. Beautiful layoff. Chance here for Cork. And that is superb play. Larkin McLaughlin coming through. You'd have mixed emotions, I suppose, in a way that you know you're so you came so close to a puck of the ball win, within um, winning All Ireland medal, like you know. Um, but overall, we had a good run, like you know, we got to, to months of final and All Ireland final, like which was incredible. But to come up short then with no silverware, um, it was disappointing in a way. But certainly there was huge progress made last last year. So um, again. This year was incredible to win a monster, actually go on and push on and get a bit of silverware because uh, it's something that the team badly needed. You know? It's further and further away from goal I'm moving, like, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, but no, I just started out, I played a lot of underage hurling, college hurling at um, half-back and even like you know, midfield is a great position, but uh, either way I'd be comfortable up in both positions. But, um, Again, like you see, eight well, just come into midfield and he's found a great partnership with Dan Kearney. So um, I suppose the, the position switches and I suppose the pers personnel switches as well. They've all worked this year, you know, so far. And um, look, all you do is try and, try and get in there and try and get in the starting 15 because there's so many fellas champing at the bit. Like, and it, that's one thing that has improved this year is the strength and depth of our panel. Down in Park Creeve, you know, the last month's the final to be played there. It, I was incredible to be part of that, yeah. Um, the Cork support, there was a great buzz in the lead up to it. I suppose there was definitely increased expectation, you know, um, and maybe that, that kind of led to maybe a cagey first half, but certainly the second half was a bit more free flowing. And um, the two goals, like, you know, Seamus Harney got a great goal, Paddy O'Sullivan again, he, he he made a huge impact in the game after coming in. Um, so it was, it was incredible to be part of that and part of a winning Cork team in the Monster final. Probably won't sink in, or you won't appreciate, uh, you know, the significance of the win. I suppose until later on in your career, but um, certainly it was great to be part of. It. But I think just just to win something this year, just to have a bit of silverware, because we, ha I suppose, we'd been knocking on the door for the last number of years with national league finals, with Munster and All Ireland finals. But it was vital that we actually got got the win and got over the line this year. Going in as Monster Champions facing to an All Ireland semi final, like it's incredible. You've that, um, you know, you have that momentum behind you, like you've the huge support. No, I suppose it's going to bring increased expectation as well, which is understandable. But um, unfortunately, it doesn't. The games don't get any easier. Like you're going to be playing some a serious outfit, you know. And last year, the back door would have stood to us the way we were playing game on game, you know. And certainly, teams are going to take advantage of that, like the Tipperary, you know. I suppose a five week break is something that we will, we won't, we won't, we won't have experienced, I suppose. But um, certainly, there's things we can work on from the Munster final. And if we if we get all that, I suppose preparation right, then we'll be in a great position. Yeah.